Co-op is a game studio uh, that's based originally in Montreal, but is now remote and worldwide. Uh, it is a cooperative. Basically, that means that we make all major decisions together. Uh, we decide whether we want to work four days or five days. Um, spoiler alert, we decided to do four days a long time ago. We present concepts when we are starting to put together things and we all vote on what we think is what everybody would like to work on. And you feel more attached to what you're making because you voted for it, you chose it. It was really important for us to feel like this was a different space where people actually could be the voices behind the games that we make. We are the makers of some charming, fun games like Winding Worlds and Nog and the upcoming Goodbye Volcano High. Goodbye Volcano High is a cinematic visual novel about dinosaurs in their final year of high school. At the start of the year, they find out that a meteor is coming. And the game is about asking yourself, what would you do if you had one year left? Who would you be? Who would you want to love? And how would you want to go out? I vote yes. I don't think this is a voting type situation. I mean, it does kind of belong to all of us. Or... It was supposed to. It does. You did a great job. So, what do you say, Faye? We chose Dinosaurs for Goodbye Volcano High for a couple of reasons. Originally, when we presented the game to everybody else, it was meant to be uh, a dating sim because, like, at the time, this was kind of like the hot thing to work on was was dating sims. And then we were like, hold up, hold up. Here's the hook. It's a dating sim with dinosaurs at the end of the world. As soon as you start talking about a meteor, even though the characters are unsure what's gonna happen, you know what's gonna happen. And that was really important to us because we wanted to make something that could tap into the anxiety of our current times. And dinosaurs was a really great way to create that metaphor uh, instantly. As it went on and we became kind of more ambitious and more interested in making what we actually like, we were like, what if it's an anime and we tell a story that isn't necessarily so focused on dating, but really goes deep into the emotional aspects of the end of the world. So high school already feels like it's the end of the world to most people, so it wasn't really that hard to hone in on the teen angst. It's really the hope that's tricky to encapsulate. High school to me is all about that sweet, sweet balance of doom and hope. Hope for the better future, hope for the dreams we chase and the ambitions we strive for. Those are things that can feel impossible to cling to, especially with something that can't be stopped and feels inevitable, like a giant meteor hitting you. And communities all across the continent reacted to the news of a previously unknown space object this morning. So, how do you deal with that? It starts off very joking. They're kind of making gallows humor jokes. In light of the whole space rock potential demise of civilization thing, my chosen theme feels off. What's the theme? Using this year to, um, make an impact. Our characters all have different methods of coping. Some double down on their ambitions, determined to accomplish their dreams before it's too late. Others slow down and decide to save for what time they have left, regardless of what their dreams are. We can still win Battle of the Bands, asteroid or not. The player character essentially ends up being the UI, and you end up playing as Fang's inner monologue. I think this means she's rooting for us? Music is really important in Goodbye Volcano High, and I would actually say music is really important to our studio and all of our games. It's core to our DNA, and music is central to the identity of the people who make the game, and so it is central to the identity of the game itself and the characters within it. There's no performance in this game that is separate from the narrative. It is essentially the same as having a, a scene of dialogue, but you're playing music. We Fang is kind of 
gearing up for their future as a musician and then realizing that they may not have a future anymore. So those two things are kind of clashing in their brain for the music they're creating and, and singing in the game. I think every person hopes that they get to be near people they love and who understand them and that love them. Those are things people can grasp no matter how much time they have left. I think that this game really encourages people to be brave, to do the brave thing and love each other and be there for each other, even when it's scary, even when you don't know what's going to happen.